Why, hello there. Thank you for joining me today as we count our sinking funds for our mid-month check-in. Stay tuned to see where all of our sinking funds are at. I bet you think that I should calm down. And that I'm over... Hello everyone, Marlene aka Snowgarner 307 here with you today for our mid-month sinking fund check-in. I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. Normally I write all the categories in from the previous month that match and go side by side. However, some of my categories have got renamed, have got moved around, all of that type of stuff. So we are going to go one category at a time, write it in, look at our month end sinking fund check-in from June. And so this is the, the form that I'm going to be using to get an ending balance from. So when I pull these numbers, you're going to know exactly where I'm getting them from. Let's go ahead and get started. For anybody that has never watched my sinking funds check-ins before, I like to do them twice a month. I like to do a mid-month one and a month in and that is just so that I'm keeping track of everything. I a lot of times will forget to log things or write on my cards on my note cards what I've done with the money. So it is a lot easier to backtrack if it's only been two weeks instead of four weeks or never. And of course we've got Fred Jr. who's joining us. We're going to put him off to the side. This is what I keep my sinking funds in just so you guys know. This is everything. It's mine and my husband's. And when we do this check-in, we do all of the sinking funds to make sure everything is on track. So we have got it right here. And sorry about that. It hit the camera. I think that's going to work out okay. I usually don't put it on view, but what the heck. We're going to roll with it this time. So the first one that we are going to be checking in for is gifts. And these are my categories starting out with. So our beginning balance it shows was $411. So let's go ahead and grab these out. Now this one is a little bit interesting because it is four separate funds that I just put in one section of my accordion file. I have got a sinking fund for my husband, for my daughter, for my son and a general gift fund. We used to call these birthday funds, but now it's gift fund for my husband, my daughter, and my son. The idea is that it is for their birthday, but if something else comes up and I want to spend the money, I should, you know, be able to spend it. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the first one. We're going to go ahead and count is my husband's. Now let me tell you guys what else we're doing. Why do I have all of this cash here? What is this cash? As we go through and count these, we are going to be changing bills out as well. This is extra cash that I got to change things out. Last time I had a whole bunch of cash that I was able to do this with because I had a big bank deposit. I went to the bank today and just got some extra denominations out. So whatever is left over will be deposited right back into the bank. I'm able to do this because my checking account has a month ahead in it as far as bills. So there's plenty of money sitting in there and it's easy to take it out and put it right back in. So let's check and see. So our last check-in, one of the most important things is to look and see for our month end check-in, we need to see what date we did it. So we checked in on the 30th. So we're looking for anything that is after the 30th. And we do in fact have something from the first. And I know, so let's go ahead and add those up first. So we've got 17 for my husband's, 17 for my daughter's, and 17 for my son's. And then we actually have 117 for the general gift fund. We added $168 in and we did not have anything taken out. So let's see if we add that to our 411. That should give us 579. Let's make sure we've got 579. So we're going to count these one at a time. And as we count them, if we need to exchange any bills out, we're going to go ahead and do it. And I can see already that we are going to exchange out. Let's go ahead and do a 50 really quick. We'll keep that 20 in. 20. Twenty, okay, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. So we're going to exchange that out. We're going to add a 50. We're going to go ahead and put these bills over here into the columns where they need to be. I don't know if I got enough big bills, you guys. I hope so, but whatever I got, I got, right? 
uh, let's take a look. Let's make sure that there is $184 in this account. 100, 150, 170, 180, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to go ahead and subtract out 184 because we know 184 is there. And then oh, let's go ahead and do my son's birthday. And let's take a look. We can definitely at least, let's leave the 20s for now. But let's get rid of some of these smaller bills. So we are going to take... We're going to take $20, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And put a 20 in here. So now we have got 20, 40, 65, 6, and 7. So let's subtract 67 out of our total there. And next we will count my daughter's birthday fund and see what we have. We should have 156. We're definitely going to be exchanging. We're going to actually try to exchange for 50. So let's see what we've got here. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we're going to put that 50 there. Put all of these ones back in here. Ones and fives and tens. Makes it super easy to count these. So $156 now. So we'll subtract $156. Then we should have $172, which according to my husband's fund, we do have $172. And we definitely need to exchange for a 50 again. So let's see, 172. So there's 122. So let's see if this is 50. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. We have a lot of small bills. It's amazing how that happens. Looks like I should have gotten more 50s and less 20s and 10s and stuff. Lesson learned for the next time I get, I'm just going to get some big bills. And as we start working with the funds, we're going to have small bills. So we should have 172. We've got 100, 150, 160, 70, and 2. So uh, those are all good. And wow, that thinned that down a lot. So our gifts are good to go. So we did check that for 579. The next fund is back to school. And obviously... When I first started this, I tried to get these in alphabetical order. I've done given up. I'm just going to do whatever order they're in. This will make it easier when it comes to that. We did, looks like added $210 in. We've got 210 And the starting balance of back to school was 185 And we did not take anything out. So 185 plus 210 equals 395 Let's make sure we've got 395. Oh my goodness, look at all these small bills in here. I might have to go to the bank and get some more big bills, huh? 100, 200, 300. Let's see. Let's do 20, 30, 45. Let's exchange all of these for a 50. So we've got 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. That's our last 50. Oh, so sad. So sad. I don't know how all of these funds ended up with so many small bills. Let's take a look now. So 395, 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 380, 390, 395. Back to school is good. Okay, everybody, if this looks a little bit different, what I did really quickly is I remembered I had some 50s and stuff in my wallet. So I changed out my 50s for 20s and 10s and stuff. So we've got a few more 50s and I think I added one more 100 in there just to give us a little bit more because we were already out of 50s and we're only on the second category. And then if I still have big bills left and I want to exchange them out, I can do that later. Next one is for car and we took out 350 and we added in 250. So let's see what our balance over here was. Our balance for car was $367. And I said we added in 250 and we subtracted 350. 
this was for my vehicle registration. And so that gives us 267, let's make sure. So we've got 100, 250, 65, oops, six and seven. No needing to exchange anything on that one. Then let's take a look at Christmas. So we have got Christmas here. And our starting balance in Christmas was 450. And we did not take anything out, but we did add $600. So that means we should have 1,050. Let's make sure. It looks like we're not gonna need to exchange anything either here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought I felt there's a couple of them that stuck together. So let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for 1,050. Christmas is good to go. And then our next category is clothing. And our clothing beginning balance was $45. And I just realized I put the wrong date when I added money in there because I definitely didn't add any in June. I added that in July. So we added 20. We didn't take anything out, so we should have 65. And so we're going to go ahead and change these out for a 10 and a 50. So we now have got $65 in clothing. Then our next category is emergency savings. And this is for my husband and I. So I'm going to go ahead and grab out two different trackers. And this is just for cash, just so you guys know. We do have emergency savings other places. So our beginning balance here was $1,000. We did not take anything, or didn't put anything in, nor take anything out. So let's make sure we've still got $1,000. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. This last month I took $500 out of each of our emergency savings and put it into the bank. So that is where that money went. If you guys haven't seen one of these for a bit, that's where it went. All right, so next we have furniture. And let's take a look. It doesn't look like we've added or taken anything in or out. So we started with 150. We didn't add anything. We didn't take anything out. So we still have 150. This is definitely not one of our high priority funds. And the money that we put in there so far has been stuff from selling other things. So now we have got the garden fund. The garden fund started with, or ended with, let's take a look. Okay, that's right. The garden began with a negative balance. So it started out with negative 22. Then I added 25 in, didn't take anything out. So we have got a whopping $3 in the garden fund. That's right, folks, $3, amazing garden. And then oh, let's go ahead and jump into holidays. Holiday started at $70. And we added $620. And we didn't take anything out. So we should have $690. So let's take a look. We've got, ooh, these are new. 100, 200, 300, 
400, 500, 600, 650, 670. We're going to change this out for a 20, right? There's $20 there. So that would make 690. Then we can get rid of those ones and the five and the 10. So $690 in holidays. Then we've got home maintenance. This is the fund where our envelope money goes if we don't spend it. So let's take a look at what we ended with. We ended with 269 and we did not take any out or put any in. So let's take a look. 100, 200, 20, 40, 65, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to go ahead and leave those twenties in there. That is not that big of a deal. Then the next thing that we have got is the kids. And there has definitely been some movement in this one. So we started out with the kids. There are two different funds here and we started with $810. I can tell you this, we do not have $810 right now. First of all, Let's take a look here. This had $900. We took all of it and deposited it into savings. So we took out $900. But we also took another 20 out. So that was 920 out. And then for addition, we added 100 there. We added 30 there plus 200. So we added 330. Let's see if I can do this correctly. So the reason why that $900 was pulled out is my daughter and I this next week will be headed out of town for her graduation party and she is going to be purchasing a new car, well, a new to her car and that is where that money is going to go towards. So I put it into the bank. So we should have 220. And look at that, we've got 220. I can't believe I did all of that math correctly. Then the next thing we have is land tax. I lost my pen, there we go. Land tax. And our land tax showed a beginning balance of $198. I know we didn't take anything out, but I know we put money in as well. So we put $64 in, which would equal $262. So we are definitely going to be exchanging some money here. So let's see, we're gonna keep the 150, and then we're gonna do, sorry about the Yorkies, wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be one of my videos if the Yorkies weren't barking. I'm sure they saw something out the front door, somebody walking on the sidewalk or something, how dare they? So let's make sure this is $100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, $100. So we will get rid of that and grab this $100 bill. Perfect. I really like how this is working out. I don't know if you guys like how it comes across when you're watching this. So let me know. I like doing two things at once. So let's make sure we've got 260, 100, 200, 50, 60, one and two, 262. Did I say that? I don't know. Land taxes, 262. And then personal care. And I know that I added some money in here. And yes, so hair or sorry, not hair, personal care. I saw hair because that was the last thing. When I got my hair done, it took this fund into the negative. So we started at negative 55 and I added 175, which equals 120. So let's make sure we've got 120 and look at that. We do 120 in personal care. Then our pet sinking fund and our pet sinking fund. Let me look over here. Yep. 565. So we started at 565 and there has been additions and subtractions. So we added in 
150 plus 75, so we added in 225. And then we took out 80 for Chewy. So let's double check. So 565 plus 225 minus 80. What did I do? 75 plus 75 plus 75, 225. Oh, sorry, that's 63. So we only added in 150. I thought all three of those were in the same month. They are not. That is going to make more sense now. So 565 plus 150 minus 80 equals 635. Thank, thank goodness that was an easy one to find. So let's make sure we've got 635. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 20, 25, 30, and 35. All I'm going to do here, guys, is grab two fives and throw in a 10 instead. We'll leave those 50s and that 20. That's no big deal. That one is just about due for a new card. Then we've got Sam's. And Sam's Club, according to the sheet over here, started at 130. Started at 130. And we added in 100 and we took 100 out. So that makes math very easy. So let's make sure we've got 130, 50, 100, 20, and 30. We're going to leave that right where it was at. Now let's jump into Saveopoly. Saveopoly. We ended Saveopoly with 235. Two thirty-five, and we added in twenty-seven and thirty-one, so we added in fifty-eight dollars, and we did not take anything out, so that should equal two hundred and ninety-three dollars. So let's make sure: one hundred, two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, one, two, and three. This one is gross. I want to change it. <laughs> All these ones are kind of gross, though. That one's way better than this one. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when the wheels are really weird, I don't like it. Okay, Saveopoly. Now we are going to get into travel. So we have got our travel here. There has definitely been some money movement in the travel category. And the travel started out at negative... 303. We did not take any out and we deposited a whole bunch. So let's take a look and see what we deposited. So we deposited 100 plus 75 plus 1128 plus 100 plus 150. So we deposited 1553 and if we subtract 303, we should have 1250. So let's take a look what we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifty. Easy peasy. Doo, doo, doo. Travel. Now I have got my friendly subscription. Friendly TV. And no, I'm not misspelling that, just so you guys know. That is actually what it says on the TV. And let's see, we started, oh, okay, back up. To save lines, I normally just do subscriptions, and I have two of them, and I put them together. I just forgot about that. So let's go ahead and do that. Subscriptions, that looks like somebody else wrote that. We started Friendly with 42 and we started Hulu with 40. And so let's make sure, is that what it says? Yep, we started with $82. Now we did not take anything out. We added $5 into Hulu and $7 into Friendly. So we added $12. So we should have 94, so let's count. We've got 20, 40, and five, so 45. 50, 
70, 90, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Perfect. So the subscriptions are good to go. So now we are going to go ahead and transition to my husband's sinking funds. So let's take a look. So he has got his gifts and his gifts ended at 265. Let's take a look. He added 75 and he subtracted 150. So 265 plus 75 minus 150 equals 190. And that's what the card says we should have. So let's take a look. We're gonna go ahead and change this. Yes. We're gonna change this for 100. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, and 100. Change that one out for him. And if you guys hear anything, it has just started downpouring out there. That's because I was going to work on my path this afternoon. But obviously that's not going to happen right now. But maybe the rain will pass. You never know. So 191, 50, 70, and 90. 190 for his gifts. And... The next one is his garbage. Let's go ahead and grab the garbage out. And this one has definitely seen money movement. So his garbage, it ended at $66. And he had two deposits and one subtraction. So he took out $95 to pay the bill. And he added in 15 and 16, which equaled $31. So let's take a look. So 66 plus 31 equals 97 minus 95 equals $2. So, yep, we have $2 in garbage. And then I am going to also change out some money in our giving funds. But we don't keep track of those and count those. So I don't like to put those on camera. So I will do that off screen. Then we have got his holidays. And this is all holidays for my husband, including Christmas. So he has definitely put money in here. He started with 150 and he is trying to bump this back up. So he added another $200 to this fund and didn't take anything out. So that gives us 350. And yeah, we'll change out. Yep, we're gonna change out for 100. So that equals 100 there because we have 50, 70, 90, and 100. We're going to grab this other 100 right here, make it super easy. If I can pick the money up, 350 holidays. And then he's got subscriptions. And we're going to have to count these. And there are three of them. So we will use our calculator for this. So subscriptions showed that he started with 197. And let's take a look and see what we've got. So I'm going to just take the number that we've got right here. So we've got 72 plus 70 plus 65. So ending, it shows we've got 207. I know that we didn't take anything out and I'm going to guess that we added $10, but let's take a look. And the $10 would have been in the Amazon because that is the only one that's not fully funded. So PlayStation should have 65 in it. 20, 40, 65. We're going to leave that just how it is. And then we have got the Disney Plus. It should have 70 in it. 50 and 70. Then we've got Amazon, which should have $72. And if you look... On the 1st and the 15th, he added $5. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 1, and 2. And we are going to go ahead and change these out for a 50. For 72. And everything with subscriptions is good to go. 
Then the last fund that we have got in cash is his truck fund. It shows over here he started with $965. And I know he had movement in and out. So let's look. So he added 45 and he subtracted 50. So that puts him at 960. So let's make sure that's what he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, forty, fifty, and fifty-five and sixty. And we're gonna go ahead and exchange this for a fifty. So nine sixty. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add these up. And I'm going to let you guys listen to a little bit of music while I add this up. You guys can probably hear the Yorkies in the background. They're being crazy. Oh, nothing belongs to you in life. Oh, the picture of you cuts like a knife. Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do. Circle, circle of fools Whatever we will means got nothing to prove But in the dark it's starting to Whatever they call Okay everybody, added up the first time. So we started out the month, beginning of the month with $6,230. We added in $4,696. We took out $1,745. So right now we have $9,181 sitting in our sinking funds in cash. Now I do have a question for you. I've been thinking about tracking our digital categories as well. I would not be able to track my husband's per diem because that's in an account that I don't even look at. But as far as emergency saves, you know, different things like that, I was thinking about possibly sharing those with people. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. Thank you guys for staying along while I counted and changed bills out for my sinking funds. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And until I see you guys next time, remember, keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. I see how the tables turn. I swear I will never learn.